I've been sitting in this parking lot for a while watching a movie, almost falling asleep again. And now it's time to pull the plug. I will head towards the car wash and uh, wash the car unless I get another call before I get to the car wash. Um, it hasn't been a terrific night, but the pace was reasonable. It wasn't a very busy night, but like I said, the pace was reasonable and steady. Um, it worked out to about $20 an hour. Very often I would get like seven or eight dollar trips and they would give me fifteen dollars. They'd give me a twenty and say, just give me a five back. <sighs> so it worked out okay for a Monday night. I didn't really work hard, I didn't feel rushed or stressed. I just uh just watched a couple of movies and got caught up on YouTube. As far as Monday nights go, it was okay. Not terribly busy, but it was steady. I got more than 200 on. That's the important part. Keep the momentum going. So, I'll talk to you later in the week. Oh. Get me out of here. Just get me out of here. It's uh, Wednesday morning. 527 I just cleared at the airport um, that's a good thing I guess and uh, I'll tell you about my night how it went it was a quite a steady night I was uh, steady all night and uh, I had about, well, I, I did well. It's been in excess of a $300 night. It's been uh, been great. It's been steady. The, uh, the trips and tips were good. And uh, at one point, I think it was at around 4 o'clock, I got sent to pick up this woman. And uh, she wanted to go to the store to get a coffee or something. And so I took her to the store and, uh, you know, parked out front of the store. And then she came back a few minutes later saying, you kept your meter on. Uh, they don't usually do that. And I said, really? When I take someone somewhere and I'm not free to take another trip and they didn't pay me when they got out of the car, I'm assuming I'm keeping the meter on because I'm still hired. And she says, well, they usually make it a separate trip. Well, I wasn't going to argue with her and tell her that, you know, that, you know, if I was to have stopped the meter and started it again as a separate trip, then it would have cost an extra 335 but to pause the meter while they go into the store, no, I do not do that. Because it's up to them how long they take. And they're paying for it. Because I'm not free to go get another call. The rest of the night went really, really well. Uh, people were good. Um, business was good. And now at the end, I, I dropped off at a supermarket near the General Hospital. And I got sent into Colwood to pick up another customer who was going to the airport. He's, uh, what? 
is that? Oh, hold on. I'm being sent on another trip out here somewhere, and I'm gonna have to pull over to figure out where the fuck that is. Oh my god, what a mess. Hold on. It's in central Saanich. Uh, okay. I'm gonna have to come out here and pull over and figure out where that is because it looks like I have another trip. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. And, uh, yeah, find myself here again. It's not so crowded this time because a big Toronto flight went out. And now this is just a, the guys getting on the little puddle jumper to go to, uh, to Vancouver. It's like a 15, 20 minute flight. And here we are again. These guys are all waiting for people to arrive in the arrivals. And I am going back to town now. It is 6.05, so I'm into overtime now. But I got another $27 to do that one. So that was definitely worth it. Um, yeah, I'll talk to you tomorrow. Yeah, here we are again. It's a little early. It's about 10 minutes to four. And I got another trip to the airport. And this one was from uh, right, no, not far from where I usually sit and wait for calls. Uh, tonight has been a little slow as far as uh, Wednesday nights go. You know, there's some nights where things are really on, like last night, uh, the, the Tuesday night, things were really on. And tonight, the Wednesday night, things were uh, not so, not so hot. But it's, uh, it's working out now that I got this uh, run out to the airport. And uh, I will... Um, well, I've still got a couple hours left to go, so that's not too bad. Um, Wednesday night, well, it, it went okay. And we're coming around this silly, stupid roundabout thing again. And yeah, it's been, been okay so far this week. Uh, we still got Thursday and Friday to go. So, uh, yeah. This is getting repetitive, isn't it? I'll talk to you uh, later. It's a cold morning for this time of year. It's down to 5 Celsius which would be, I guess, around 40 Fahrenheit, something like that. Um, it's, uh, yeah, it's a cold morning. The night hasn't really been all that spectacular, but, you know, it's been coming together in drips and drabs. It is now the Thursday night, or actually the Friday morning, so this is the fourth shift out of five during this week. I just had a bizarre thing happen. I took this... I had a couple bizarre things happen tonight. It is a new moon from what I can tell. And, like, only on a new moon would this traffic light be red because it's a T intersection and it's a crosswalk. And only on a new moon this thing kind of thing would happen. I had a couple of bizarre fares and a couple of bigger tips took one guy with a bike from one end of town to another and then much later and uh, more recently I had this one fair where this guy went towards a squimalt so I took him to a squimalt no problem you know and um, he was behaving a little strangely but as I was coming back to this part of town I got hailed by somebody the guy waved and leaned right into the street. He, he could almost touch my windshield the way he was waving at me. So I stopped, and he and the girl he was with got in, and they were, well, I don't know, it, 
there were some people on the other side of the street and he's and we started to drive i figured that from where he was waving he wanted to go in the direction that we, we i was pointed but after we drove a short time he said turn around i want to ask those people if they want to ride and uh he asked them and she asked them and no they didn't want to ride he says okay just just drive so I'm driving and I'm going you know, like do you guys have a destination or what like are you gonna tell me where you're going no he wouldn't tell me where we were going so I just drove and drove and drove stupidly uh, I went his way I went the way he was pointing and we're going to put the camera down a little bit because there was a policeman right there. Okay, we put the camera back up because the policeman's going the other way, which is just fine. Um, yeah. And somebody's passing me on the right. Yeah, okay, pass me on the right. I'm going approximately speed limit. That should be good enough, shouldn't it? Okay. Oh, what's he doing here? Anyways, she starts crying, and I can't make out, you know, he doesn't understand why she's crying, but she's crying, and he says, you've had a couple of rough days, okay, fine, so, you know, uh, why are you crying so much? And then we got to a certain intersection near the bridge, and he said, oh, turn left here. So it's like as an afterthought, turn left there. So I'm driving up the road for another while. And uh, then he says, I'm in the right lane and we're at a major intersection and the light's turning green. And he says, oh, turn left here. So we go up the road and then he says at some point, oh, take carry. But instead of taking carry by ravine, he wants to take carry, uh, take, get on the highway and take, take, uh, Mackenzie to get to carry and he says I'm going to Roy Road you understand oh you are well you know had he told me Roy Road to begin with it would have cost him about $12 rather than the 28 it cost him so there you go and there's my buddy right there he I guess we'll say hi <laughs> uh, Arrow. Arrow how are you well the night ends here uh, I just dropped off downtown. I'm going to be heading in to fuel it up and park it and go home. I've had had enough. It was a, a new moon night. It was weirdness. It was people just being a little different from the way they usually are. Especially that guy who ended up going a lot a lot longer distance to where he was going than he should have. Oh, we're starting to get aggressive morning traffic here already. And I'm not exactly going slowly, but no, they have to be past me. Uh, yeah, see, this is the time when the morning traffic starts to come out. And that's when I want to be off the road, because these people just got out of bed, got in their cars, and haven't had their Tim Hortons yet. That is a very dangerous recipe at times. Uh, well, so far we've had a relatively busy Friday night, and I'm going to just change directions here somewhere. Oh, this is awkward. They make these streets so fucking stupid. See, look at look at all this crap right in the middle of the road here. It's all crap. It's designed to make it so you can't get where you want to go. Well, um, like I said, it's been going pretty good. Uh, I had a couple hundred on by 11. I don't know how much I have on now. Right now it's 12.30. And um, I, I took a girl up to... Oh, why is it always after I've turned the corner or after I've passed my opportunity to turn that, okay, I can go up here, I think, I think, 
there's probably going to be a thing at the end of, other end of the block, if I'm not mistaken, saying that I can't go through there unless I'm a bicycle. But I'm going to go around the obstruction. Anyway, I took this girl up to UVic, to the university. Then I got sent to uh, another call, which was off campus by two or three blocks. But when I was on campus, I got waved at by some guy, and he said, you go down the road this way, and you turn right. No, you go straight. No, you turn right. No, you go straight. Now, see here, this is one of those except bicycles places, and I got to go. See, look at this. Awkward fucking bullshit. I'm going to go right through here. Okay. This is where I want to go. This guy, he wasn't giving me very good directions, and I asked him, what's the address you're going to? And he wouldn't tell me. And so I, uh, but he said, you turn right here, you turn left here, you turn right here. And then he said, here, you turn left. He said, that's not the right house, but I'll, I'll pay with Interact. And as I'm reaching for the Interact machine and starting to put numbers in it, he opens the door and runs away. And I chase him up a up a laneway, but the laneway gets too narrow, so the car cannot go through. And had the laneway not narrowed, I could have probably got him because he was kind of a fat one. Anyway, I'll talk to you sooner and, and let you know how the rest of the night went. Well, here we are again. It is now 3.38 a.m. on Saturday morning. And there's those big ugly flowers again and um, yeah I run to the airport um, I and I still have two hours and two and a half hours almost to go and uh, we're in excess of uh, $400 now uh, which is fine you know if I don't have another fare that'll be fine in excess of four hundred dollars I'm happy but you know if I have some more business I'm not gonna exactly turn it away it's been a hectic busy night to get to this point uh, yeah there was the kid who ran away and there was a busy we had some good business there I had a couple of thirty dollar fares in a row and yeah if it's not one thing it's another Fridays just make me tired I, I'm tired now. so I'm just about done I don't know if I'm going to do another segment after this part um, I am getting tired I just want to sit in the parking lot and watch a couple of things um I don't really know what to say. I don't really have much to say except that I I deserve my weekend. I deserve a rest. I deserve to take it easy because I've been working pretty hard all week. So, uh, I <clears throat> hope yours is better than mine.